Who do I think is going to win the championship? And who do I think is going to go down into League One? Watch my predictions and tell me what. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to the channel for yet another video and today it is my championship predictions you've seen league two league one and now it is championship time uh stay tuned watch the video i'm not going to go through the whole table i'm just going to go through the top six and who i think are going to go down so please enjoy the video if you're new to the channel as well please make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that like button and tell me no let me know sorry in the comments below what you guys think of my championship predictions. Let's get into it. First place, I have got AFC Bournemouth. Now, yes, they've lost Ryan Fraser, Callum Wilson, Nathan Ake, but they have still got some very good players, the likes of Josh King, uh, Jefferson Lerma. Um, you know, some good some good players at the back as well. Um, obviously, they got David Brooks as well. So I do think Bournemouth still have a very good side. And I do think that Bournemouth will win the Skybet Championship. I think they just have a bit too much quality uh, for the rest of the league. So I think Bournemouth will finish in first and win the league. In second place, I'm going with another one of the relegated teams. And I'm going with Watford. Yes, it looks like they're going to lose Abdullah Decore to Everton. But I do still think they're going to have a very strong squad with the likes of his Myla Saar, uh, Gerard De La Feo, uh, Andre Gray, I think will do well in the championship, even if they keep Oladini as well. So I do think Watford are going to finish in second and go up with Bournemouth straight back up to the Premier League. Wait to see my Premier League predictions because I think two will swap with, um, with Watford and Bournemouth. But yeah, I think Watford will finish in second place. Right, guys, what I'm going to do with the playoffs is I am going to tell you each of the teams that I think will make the playoffs. And then when I've done that, I will tell you who I think will win, who, who I think will actually win the playoffs. Right, in third place, I have gone with Brentford, the beaten playoff finalists from last season. But I think Brentford will finish third again. I don't think they'll have enough to, um, to finish in the top two, but I think they're definitely too good to not be in the playoffs. So I do think that Brentford will finish in third and potentially if they can keep hold of their uh, big players, the likes of Benarama and Bumu, Watkins, um, even in the midfield, the likes of Jensen, then I do think they could possibly push for the top two if they do keep hold of those uh, big players like I mentioned. But Brentford to finish in third. Fourth place, I've gone for Norwich City. Now Norwich have signed some very good players. And they've also kept hold of the likes of Emmy Buendia, Todd Campwell, Timmy Pukki, um, Tim Krul in goals as well as a big uh, player to keep hold of. Now, I do think Norwich are going to do very well this season. I don't think they're going to have the ability to trouble the likes of Watford and Bournemouth at the top uh, in terms of the top two. But I do think that what, uh, Norwich are going to have a very strong side, very young side as well going into the season. That's going to help them. And I do think they'll be in and around the playoffs all season. Uh, I think they might, you know, have stints where they're in automatic promotion, where they're in the top two. But I do think they will drop down to fourth. But yeah, I, I'm delighted to see um, see them making signings, and I'm very excited to see this uh, uh, Norwich team next season. So good luck to any Norwich fans, and I think you're going to finish in fourth place. Fifth place, I think, is going to be N uh, Nottingham Forest. I think they've signed well. I mean, the likes of Lyle Taylor brought in, which is going to be a very good signing, obviously coming from Charlton. Uh, they've signed that uh, Guerrero as well from Olympiacos. So they are signing, and they've signed uh, Kieran Freeman as well, which I think is going to be an excellent signing from Sheffield United. So they've brought in players to suit the style of play. Obviously, Tyler Blackett as well, former Manchester United player, is going to do very well for them. And I do really see Nottingham Forest giving a massive stride for um, the playoffs this season. I don't think they're going to bottle it like last season. And I think Nottingham Forest will finish in fifth place. And I think they'll be comfortable uh, in the playoffs all season. I don't think they'll ever drop down. They might They might start at the top where they, you know, 
They're troubling the top two, like I said, with Norwich. But ultimately, I do think they're not. The Forest will finish in fifth place in the championship this season. Sixth place, I've gone with Cardiff City. Now, just like last season, I think Cardiff have spent well. They've bought, brought in well. Uh, the likes of Ossia Tutu is a very good right back, which I think they needed to do that, obviously, with the loss of Steon Sanderson back to Wolves. Um, Kiefer Moore is a very good signing as well, coming in from Wigan. And I do see Cardiff making a final stride for the playoffs. Obviously, you see it in the Championship every season. A team starts um, from like 11th, 12th, just making a last gants towards the playoffs. And I personally do think that team will be Cardiff City this year. I think Cardiff will make a stride towards the playoffs. And I think they'll get it within the final couple of games of the season. And I think Cardiff City will finish in sixth place. Kiefer Moore could be in a... Uh, what do you call it? Could be in a bet for Golden Boot as well. But Cardiff City to finish in sixth place right. this season. Out of the four teams that I've got to finish in the playoffs, I do think that Brentford will win the playoffs. Uh, going into their new stadium, I mean, the, the stadium looks nice and all of that. And I think this season will be the year that Brentford make the step up from Championship to Premier League. And I think Brentford will win the playoffs, beating Cardiff City in the final, 2-1 at Wembley. And um, yeah, so I think Brentford will go up along with Bournemouth and Watford. Now we're going in to the three teams that I think will be relegated out of the Championship into League One this season. Now we start off with 22nd place. Now 22nd place, I've got Rotherham United. Coming up from League One, I don't think they're going to stay in the Championship. Um, we do see this about Rotherham a lot, where they go up and come straight back down. And I generally think that Rotherham will go down in 22nd place. I don't think they have the calibre of player to stay up in the Championship. And the Championship is a very strong league. And I think Rotherham United will finish in 22nd and go straight back down to League One. 23rd, I've got Barnsley. Now, I know they stayed up on the last day last season by beating Brentford 2-1 at Griffin Park. The final ever game uh, in the league at Griffin Park. Obviously, they know they had the playoff game against Swansea. Um, and Barnsley stayed up miraculously. Uh, to keep them up to deny and also to deny Brentford a place in the Premier League. But I don't think it's going to happen for two years in a row. I mean, we've seen in the Premier League with Huddersfield, they stayed up. And then the next season, they went down. I, I think this is going to be the same situation with Barnsley. Unfortunately, I don't think they're going to have the, the squad depth to stay in the, in the Championship. And I really do see Barnsley going down in 23rd. Unfortunate for them, but Barnsley to be the second team relegated from the Championship. Guys, the third team that I think is going to get relegated from the Championship and finish in 24th place is going to be Wickham Wanderers. Now, coming into League One, uh, into the Championship, sorry, for I believe the first time. It might might be wrong. Um, if I am wrong, let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I don't think they're going to have the ability to make the step up from, the, from League One to the Championship just yet. I think maybe if they would have gave a season in the playoffs... Um, Obviously, last season, if they would have lost the playoffs and then build and then be able to have a squad worthy of going up and up another level, sorry, um, maybe they'd be able to handle the championship. But I really don't see it. I mean, Akin Fenwer, we all wanted to see him in the championship. We've got that wish. Um, they have got some decent players like the defenders. Uh, Kaske as well is a decent player. I do like him, but I don't think they're gonna have the. I don't think they'll be able to make the step up. And I think Wickham Wanderers will finish in 24th and go straight back down to the straight back down to and League without, One. And with that brings the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. Um, it's been a pleasure recording this uh, championship content. I am going to do um, only championship and League One content and Premier League content with doing predictions and stuff like that. I'm not going to do full on um, of content from them. But... Um, yeah, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let me know in the comments. I think that I've gone. I think I've done pretty well on those predictions. To be honest with you, I think a lot. A lot of people will be predicting the things that I have. So please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. On the road to six hundred subscribers, 
Also, I'm aiming for 700 to 750 subscribers by the end of 2020. So if you can help me out on the road to that, that'll be fantastic. Make sure to follow me on all the socials as well. TikTok, uh, Instagram and uh, Twitter down below. And thank you, for, uh, thank you for watching. And as always, up the county. Unfortunately, this is championship content, so I can't really say that. But up the county, whatever.